Vamos a cambiar un poco de tercio y ahora vamos a hablar qué papel tiene la innovación tecnológica en resolver algunos o muchos de los retos que, que aquí se han comentado. Para ello vamos a dar entrada a, a Sintef eh, y lo vamos a dar entrada mediante un vídeo. ¿no? Vamos a, nos va a hablar John Olaf Tanden, que es, eh, que es investigador, eh, investigador jefe en, en Sintef y en particular él es el director del proyecto del programa Novitec, que mueve 40 millones de euros en investigación en eólica marina eh, en Noruega y pertenece a diversas eh, a los steering committee de diversas organizaciones europeas en este campo. ¿no? Eh, yo creo que va a ser muy ilustrativo de cómo la I +D, o las líneas de, de I +D de innovación tecnológica van a ser relevantes en, en este sector. Pasamos al vídeo, por favor. What is the situation in the Nordic countries when it comes to marine energy opportunities? It's mainly about offshore wind development. That is the biggest development. Uh, when it comes to other marine energies like wave and tidal, there are some, but it's really marginal and it's not something that I know a lot about. But for offshore wind, the main development is in Denmark. They have a lot of offshore wind farms. Sweden also has some. And then Norway has the first uh, floating wind turbine in the world. Uh, it was high wind. It was built in 2009 by Stuttgart. And they are now taking it further to a... a floating offshore wind farm uh, in Scotland, 30 megawatts, six turbines, and sorry, five turbines, and uh, it really demonstrates how you can cut costs and develop this technology. Could you tell us something about the evolution from oil and gas industry to offshore wind energy industry? Yeah, I think Startle is certainly a good example there. They have developed uh, high wind, they take it further Uh, with Hive in Scotland uh, and they use their experience then from floating oil and gas. But they also use their experience in operating and planning uh, large offshore installations uh, in their development of offshore wind farms uh, in the UK and lately also in Germany where you have bottom fixed turbines. Do you consider that H VDC is a future technology for efficient energy evacuation from offshore wind farms? Yes, certainly. But I also think you will see a development where you can have uh, high voltage uh, alternate and current uh, transmission, uh, stretching the limit for that. That will also be a development. And I also think that you will see development of new high high voltage DC technologies, not only point-to-point -point connections that we see today, but uh, also more integrated solutions, uh, maybe high voltage DC generators or uh, internal uh, wind farm collection systems with uh, DC. At this moment, which are the technological uh, challenges that offshore wind energy faces? It's all about reducing costs. That is the short answer. Um, you need to develop uh, larger turbines, of course, but you also need to develop uh, substructures, electrical infrastructure, uh, design methods uh, that all requires research to be able to have these larger wind turbines offshore. And also with regards to operation and control, uh, there are lots of possibilities to improve that and uh, cut costs. Mm -hmm. How to boost the development of the marine energy? Offshore wind is a, really a very big uh, development. It's not something that one country can do alone. It's not something that one company can do alone. It's really about collaboration. And we need collaboration between industry, research and governments. And we need uh, collaboration between countries. And I think we need collaboration on the European level using the European and EU Research Alliance, for example, within research, but also the Medici collaboration is a good example. And certainly the Sintef Technologia collaboration is also something that I have great expectations for, and I think we can share infrastructure and resources to really make great impact. Bueno, pues. Esto ha, sido, esto ha sido la visión que tiene un centro puntero internacional, como es el Centro Nuevo de Investigación Nacional, eh, Sintef, 
y además eh, es un centro que viene de tener una larguísima experiencia en el mundo del oil and gas y como ya ha salido también en esta mesa, nos puede marcar camino de tecnologías y experiencias que se pueden extrapolar claramente al mundo de las renovables marinas. Thank you.